Let's write the balanced net ion equation for COI2 and PbNO32. This is cobalt 2 iodide, and then we have lead 2 nitrate. So the first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like it's already balanced. So that makes it kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. And that looks like this. In general, compounds with the iodide ion are soluble. There are a few exceptions. Lead 2 nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. So the cobalt 2 nitrate, that's going to be soluble. The exception for the iodides, lead 2 iodide, this is one to remember, it is going to be insoluble. So it's a solid here, and that means it's going to be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances here react. So we have our states. The next step is to split all of the strong electrolytes into ions. That will give us the complete ionic equation. Note that we don't split solids apart when we're writing the complete ionic equation. So the lead to iodide, that's going to stay together. So that'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note we didn't split that lead to iodide apart since it's a solid. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. We have our reactants, and down here we have the products. I can see there's a cobalt 2 ion in the reactants and in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. I can also see that there are two nitrate ions in the reactants and the products. So those are spectator ions as well. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for COI2 plus PBNO32. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for our cobalt 2 iodide and lead 2 nitrate. Note that charge is conserved. We have 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So those cancel out, net charge of 0. Over here, this is neutral. It has a net charge of 0 as well. So charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt 2 iodide plus lead 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.